hello internet world we are live on YouTube for another video uh, another networking type video if you want to create a, a really robust sort of uh, internet Wi-Fi network within your home or indeed your small office home office then this could certainly be of interest ingenious very kindly sent me out two products for this video thank you very much to them I'm gonna share with you my opinion I've also left links to the products and the ingenious website down below so let's have a look at the first one I'm just going to show you the packaging first of all uh, packaging is a, a big thing in the buying experience but sometimes I really appreciate just simple packaging and the reason I appreciate simple packaging is because normally it means that the focus has gone into the product or the money has gone into the product uh, this particular uh, product is the ingenious POE adapter uh, this is what the product looks like the actual model number is the EPA 5006 GAT uh, and it is a very simple device this is um, a power over Ethernet adapter so what you would do with this let's just prop that down to one side is you would actually plug this little box into the uh, power so you would have a, a like a mains power socket on your wall you'd plug that in to there of note my review product came with a uh, European adapter not a UK one so a little bit tricky I had to do a little bit of rewiring to get this working and then on the end here you have got a regular LAN or Ethernet socket and also a power over Ethernet socket so this one here would act as a normal Ethernet uh, connection uh, this one here you can run a Ethernet cable and actually power another device so that could be something like a security camera for example uh, or just something that needs power to it but primarily I've been using PoE for uh, Ethernet powered uh, uh, surveillance cameras but this also can power a access point which leads me nicely on to the next product uh, this one here this is the EWS 377 AP again very simple packaging uh, and this has got a whole host of features uh, this actually supports uh, dual concurrent 80211AX architecture it is backward compatible with other protocols as well uh, 3 DBI integrated 4x4 antenna in here and up to 2400 yeah, 2400 uh, megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band this is dual band as well so it supports up to about 1140 something uh, 1140 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band uh, it's got some really good features built in and this actually works over uh, or with power over Ethernet inside before I show you the product itself you do get a quick start guide this is going to guide you through everything you need to know for getting this up and running uh, it's not the easiest product I've had to set up but the quick installation guide as long as you follow it you won't have any issues at all uh, it's got a 2.5 gigahertz uh, LAN port with power over Ethernet just in there it does also work off of a um, DC 12 volt adapter as well uh, but you can power it over Ethernet now a couple of little bits just a little bit of feedback to ingenious on this um, no Ethernet cable inside the box so I've got no way of powering it unless I've got that but if you're installing something like this you probably know what you would need and no no DC 12 volt adapter so the fact that they included this was was useful obviously because I could use this to power this but just note when you are buying this sort of networking gear uh, you do need to check you're going to have the right cabling either supplied with the product or indeed to purchase it separately uh, now there is uh, local uh, and remote management software for this so you can actually um, uh, manage uh, all of the ingenious products very very easily uh, this is a, a nice slimline product as well it does come with mounts inside the box you mount uh, that to the wall or ceiling and then in turn this will mount to that uh, very very easy to put up on the wall which is where I tested it I tested it in like this vertical configuration uh, we've got power, uh, Ethernet connectivity, and um, also some information here about the uh, 
band that is being used, the Wi-Fi band that's being used. Uh, very, very nice slimline device, very, very well made and very easy to manage. Now the connectivity on this has been super robust and if you've got a, a compatible device that supports these faster protocols, you're going to get some very, very speedy uh, connection speeds to this, especially wirelessly. Wow, so, so fast. And that is down to that faster 802.11ax architecture inside. So if you want the fastest wireless connection you can get, you need to invest in something like this. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, really good range on this as well, I found. Uh, thanks to that 4x4 antenna configuration. Uh, I, I think with uh, the other devices, I, I can't remember the exact distance, but if you imagine you've got maybe a two-floor building, uh, regular sort of uh, house, uh, this would reach at least another 20 feet in that same uh, in that same location where I was testing other devices. So it has got a really strong and good range on this. I like the design overall. Uh, could do with being a little bit smaller. It's quite a big box, but it's very, very well made. And I think Ingenious offer up uh, really good value for money. So anyway, that is it for this video. Let's take a look inside the live chat because this is live. I'm going to say a big good morning to Russ B. Good morning to you, Russ. Also to Nick. Uh, thank you very much for uh, tuning in, Nick. And also to Mark Appleton. Thank you very much for tuning in live. Uh, Nick saying, uh, nice coincidence, was looking at a UPS, still trying to work out the size. Uh, uninterruptible power supplies, very, very uh, good bit of kit to invest in. Uh, I use those for doing my live broadcast, so if we do have a power cut, I'll lose maybe a studio light over there, but all of the main equipment is plugged into a UPS and will continue working for about 15 to 20 minutes when everything's switched on. Uh, Nick, if you want to hit me up on Twitter, at Geekanoids, please do send me a message uh, if you want a recommendation. Let me know what kit you're going to be plugging into the UPS and I can give you a recommendation. Let me know what country you're in as well. That is it for this video. Check out the Ingenious website, link down below. Hit like on this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another one very, very soon.